Welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about vinyl floors and your Super Duties, also available in your F-150s, and why I would not recommend them if you can avoid it. Now, if you're going to get an XL truck and get a vinyl floor, it is what it is. That's what it comes with. But Ford recommends, or Ford has an offering for a vinyl floor in your King Ranches and your Lariats, uh, maybe even some of the higher trim levels as well, but you can get a rubber floor in a high trim level truck if you want. Now on the surface, it sounds like a good idea, but there is an issue with getting vinyl floors. And I wanna talk about that in this video. So I know that when I was looking at trucks and I was thinking about a higher trim level uh, Super Duty, the idea of a vinyl floor was appealing because I could go ahead and have dirty feet, whatever, it's not a big deal. Well, here's the problem. A vinyl floor is not totally impervious to moisture. And the reason for that is you still have your seals. And I keep my vinyl floors covered with mats. I got a comment uh, from an individual on YouTube asking, why even use a mat when you have a vinyl floor when you can just wipe off your floor, whatever? The reason is because when you get in your truck with wet feet, water still works its way down into the valley of your of your truck down into the channel the down the channel down uh where your wiring loom goes underneath your your floor underneath your carpet is wiring and if you let water get down there then they can end up getting wet now these have gotten wet most vehicles can take some moisture on their wiring uh they have pretty good seals and everything and I've had some water down in there and it didn't cause it did not cause any issues but the issue that I have with the vinyl floors is once any moisture gets under there or gets through there the vinyl floors don't let any moisture back out of the carpet whereas a normal carpet it could get shampooed let's just say for example you had your carpet shampooed and it's still moist after you picked up all the moisture out of it with a vacuum whatever <sighs> It will eventually dry. You let air get to it. You let the heat run. Whatever you do, it's going to eventually dry. Whereas moisture that gets trapped under the vinyl floors can get stuck under there because it doesn't breathe the moisture out as good as the um, carpet would. Like if you got your carpet wet, a little bit of moisture that gets on your carpet works its way out of the carpet. Now, if you look at your vinyl floors... You still have seams and joints right here. You have a joint where your your carpet meets your seat. Moisture can get in there. Uh, moisture can get, particularly can get in here. So if you weren't using a mat at all, moisture will go right down through the cracks. There's no way that you can seal it. You know, moisture is going to go right down through here and it's going to potentially wet up the underneath of the carpet where it's still a foam type material and it will collect moisture and it's gonna be really hard for that moisture to get back out of a rubber floor. Whereas if it were a carpet and you got a little moisture uh, underneath your mat, whatever, you can get that out air flow, natural, natural air flow will get it out, whereas it can get stuck under a vinyl carpet. So if you are thinking about ordering one of these trucks in a higher trim level, and thinking, you know, maybe I'll get the vinyl because my, my shoes are going to be dirty. I won't need floor mats or whatever. You're still going to want to use floor mats because the vinyl can potentially show wear. Uh, whereas like a floor mat will also wear out, but you can just switch out the floor mat. If you wear out a vinyl floor, you know, you can't switch it out. You know, it comes time to trade this truck in. We can pull these mats out and you got a brand new floor underneath. It helps to resale value a little bit. Now having that moisture get under you really with vinyl floors you need a good floor mat because you don't want moisture getting down into the seams and everything which it works its way down and it can't get it make its way back out so if i were ordering this is an xl so it comes with the vinyl floor but if i were ordering a a, a platinum or something like that and thinking you know maybe i'll get a, a rubber floor and it'll, it'll be more durable not really it's just can potentially trap more moisture than it's worth so i don't recommend a vinyl floor I mean, they they are a lot better than they used to be they're high quality 
but they have some inherent issues. It's not really Ford's fault. It's not anybody's fault, but it's just it's just an uh, inherent issue of how good do you think you can get your seats to seal and all that. So that's it for the video. Comment below. Do you guys, what do you guys think about this? And do you guys have a vinyl floor? Not for an XL, like I say, fine. But the idea that it's more durable have never really seen a worn out carpet before i've seen i've seen some wear that you know looks like what appears to be wear on a vinyl floor but you know here's a truck right here our old truck it's got 220 thousand miles and it has carpet floor and it's not really an issue i think you could clean this floor up to look pretty good and it's got 220 thousand miles so you know, uh, is it more resilient to stains? Sure, but you can't just, you can't really get a vinyl floor wet like you would think. I think some people think that you can just hose it off. No, you can't just hose off. You can't just hose off your vinyl floor in your truck just because it's vinyl. I've literally seen people online putting like a water hose in their truck, spraying the floor because it's vinyl. You can't do that. Um, it's just not something you should do. It's not something you can do. So, uh, do I recommend vinyl floors? I wouldn't recommend it on a high trim level truck. It's okay if it comes on an XL, but I wouldn't at this point consider, a, consider it an upgrade just because it's vinyl. It's better. Um, they are better than it used to be, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend it thinking that it's going to be so much better than a carpet. Carpet to me is the way to go. Cover it up with a mat. You know, if it gets a little moisture on it, it can air out. It can breathe. It's more breathable than the vinyl is. So anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and hope to see you guys and hear from you guys in the comment section. Thanks a lot. Bye.